Hi there. Hello. How are you doing? I'm Hello. Dr. Zilstra. Hello, I'm Hi. Mr. Blackjack. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Hi, Mr. Blackjack. I'm Dr. Choate. Nice to meet you. Dr. Brooks. Hello. Dr. Brown. Hi, hello. Thank you. Nice to meet you all very well. And this is Chicken Wing? This is Chicken Wing. And how is he doing today? Well, Chicken Wing hasn't been feeling very well over the past few days. Okay. He's been vomiting a lot lately. Okay. And uh, this morning I also noticed that he hasn't been eating very much. So I'm mm-hmm. a little worried about him, so I brought him in. Okay. So how long would you say he's been vomiting? Uh, he's been vomiting for about three days now. Um, okay. So, but again, just the recently stopped eating his food. Okay. And would you say that in the last three days since he's been vomiting, has it been seeming like it's getting better? Has it been happening less frequently? Or has it been Uh, happening more? It's been on average about three or four times a day, but it's kind of hard for me to tell how many because my dog Nutella likes to eat his vomit. Oh, of course. (laughs) He's a nasty dog, but love him, so. Okay. Well, I guess the piles that Nutella hasn't gotten to, have you had a chance to see what they look like? Uh, They've been kind of liquidy. Um, They started out kind of like looking at food particles with them, but then they started getting more liquidy as uh, time went on, and they also started to show some yellow, greenish coloring as well, so. Okay. Okay. Have you tried any medications or supplements or anything like that with chicken wing here? Uh, No, no, just give them some treats and just regular food. Is there some type of uh, supplement or thing that you typically give cats? No, not really. I mean, I thought that maybe you might have tried something with the vomiting, because some owners like to try and give their cats or dogs human medicine to see if it'll help. Right. But mostly just to kind of get an idea if you have given him anything before we try treating him. Okay. So, good to know. All right. So have you ever, have you noticed any other problems with him? Um, well, he's been a little uh, lethargic lately. Um, when I first got him, he was very playful. Um, like to run around a lot and play with toys, but again, like the past day or so, he's been, you know, pretty much just a, a blob. Okay. So. Okay. And is he urinating and defecating like normal? Uh, the urination, yeah, again, seems normal. Haven't seen any problems with that. Um, uh, defecation, again, it's hard to tell because Nutella also likes to munch on that. So. Wow. I hope he's not a kissing dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, children. Oh, good. Even better. <laughs> Okay. Um, other than that, you haven't really noticed anything? No watery eyes, runny nose, sneezing? No, no. Just the vomiting. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And so get just a little more background on his okay. lifestyle and since you've gotten him. And, and how long have you had him? I've had him about a month now. Mm-hmm. Um, just picked him up from the local shelter. Okay. The road. Okay. And um, did they give you any reason why he was at the shelter? No, I mean, they didn't say. Okay, okay. And now that you have him, do you keep him indoors, outdoors? Uh, he's strictly an indoor cat. He's strictly an indoor cat. Okay. And uh, did uh, the shelter give you any sort of medical history or papers? Any? Um, yes, they did give me chicken wing directly oh, too. Okay, if you'd like excellent. To see them. Yes, we will um, want to look at those. They didn't mention anything <laughs> about any kind of uh, past history or any problems that um, he had. Okay. Um, do you think this might be a problem that he had before I picked him up from the shelter? It's it's really hard to say. Our main focus right now is to figure out, you know, why he's vomiting now since it seems to be a more recent development. Mm. Uh, did the shelter tell you if they gave him any sort of vaccines? Um, they just said he was up to date on his vaccines. Um, okay. I don't know him all by heart. I'm okay. I'm guessing it's in his records um, there. So that we'll, we'll double check his paperwork and, okay. and verify that for you. <laughs> and. Um, did they also, again, and we'll check his paperwork for this, did they tell you anything about giving him anything for parasites? Um, no, they didn't. Um, what kind of stuff do you get for parasites? Well, there's lots of different medications. Um, it depends on the type of parasites that may be seen, and so it, it, it just depends on what's found and what's given. There are some that are more common than others, and okay. so a lot of shelters will commonly medicate for the more common ones. So okay. we'll check his records and see if they did. Okay, is that something I should be doing as well, even though he's just an indoor cat, doesn't really associate with other cats as well? With indoor cats, it's not usually as necessary you know, to do as a routine basis, especially if he's not being exposed to other cats or situations mm-hmm. where he could pick up parasites. Okay. Um, what do you feed him? <coughs> do you know what kind of cat food uh, is? Just like Purina indoor formula. Okay. Is that something new for him? Uh, no, it's what I've been giving him since I picked him up. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's different from what the shelter was feeding him. Okay. And uh, how about kitty treats or human food? 
Uh, you sneak him some food every now and then. He likes chicken. Okay. <laughs> is the chicken cooked? Oh, uh, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. And is it just the meat, or do you offer him the meat and the bone? Or? Oh, just the meat. Just the meat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And he came from the shelter neutered, and yes. did they microchip him as well? Yes, they did. Okay. Excellent. And you mentioned Nutella, which is your dog. Right. Uh, what kind of dog? Border Collie. Border Collie. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other pets besides that? Nope. Nope, just the two of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the only other questions I have are, um, have you taken him anywhere since you've adopted him, traveled anywhere with him? Nope, he's not allowed to travel anymore. He's so. not? He's done? <laughs> okay. And uh, um, you mentioned that normally he's very playful, so mm -hmm. he's a very active cat. Yeah. And um, that has changed? Yeah, like, yeah, he doesn't really play with his toys much anymore. He used to love playing with, you know, his normal toys that we have for his little balls, mouses, and chasing the, sh the string around. But, you know, the past few days, he just has been kind of ignoring it, so. Okay. Is he known for destroying <laughs> those toys, eating them, anything like that? Uh, I haven't noticed any, like, really destroying them, just kind of chasing them around. Okay, excellent. Great. And the other thing, I guess, before we proceed with a uh, physical exam would be, do you have any other questions or concerns we can answer for you? Um, I guess just um, at this time, like, what are you guys going to do to examine to find out what's going on with him? Okay. Well, um, what we're going to do is, is a thorough physical exam, basically checking him head to toe and trying to find out if we can see any obvious physical signs that may point to why he is vomiting and, not, and currently not feeling well. Okay. That would be our next step. Okay. So I'll just do a quick physical exam. So basically, we just start at the nose and work our way back. Okay. I'm gonna help Dr. Brooks. Now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Spicy. So we're gonna just start by checking out his eyes and see how they look. His eyes look good. He's got they're a little sunken, perhaps. Okay. And color and any runniness on the nose. No, the nose nose is moist. There's no discharge. And just check out teeth. Teeth are really nice and clean. There's no tartar. The gingerbread are pink. Okay. And then we're going to do a CRT, which is a capillary refill time, just to see how long it takes for blood to come back to his gums after we depress them. Okay. Is that a circulation test? Right. We just want to make sure that his blood is circulating normally. It's one to two seconds. Okay. So that's good. That's normal. And then we are going to check his submandibular lymph nodes. They're symmetric, normal in size, and normal consistency. Okay. Prescapular. Same. Okay. Axillary. Same. And then just run our hands down to see how his body condition score is. He looks to be in good condition. I'd say on a five-point scale, he's about a two and a half. Okay. And then popliteal lymph nodes. Also symmetric and normal size and consistency. Okay, and then we're just going to check his lungs. Thank you. His lungs are clear on both sides. There's no abnormal sounds, and the rate's about 20 breaths per minute. Okay, and then we'll just listen to the heart rate. His heart rate's about 140 per minute, and there's no murmurs, no arrhythmias. He doesn't like that much. He's resisting that. He's very tense. He's a chicken wing. It's okay. All right. And then we're just going to check and see if we can feel the bladder at all. Well, I can't feel the bladder. And make sure he really is neutered. Yes, he's neutered. Okay. All right. And then let's just do a skin tent on him. We want to check and see if he's dehydrated. There's a bit of delay in the skin tinting. I'd say he's about 5% dehydrated. Okay. And we're going to watch him walk across the table. He doesn't want to walk very much, but he, he seems okay. He can ambulate just fine. Okay. And then we'll just finish up with taking his temperature. Oh, hang in there, buddy. Not very crazy about that, but it's 102 degrees. Okay. All right. Okay, well now that we've done our physical exam and we've gotten some good history from you, I think what we're going to do is have a timeout.
and we're going to have you step out in the lobby for a few minutes so we can discuss what we found with Chicken Wing and look at his past history. And then we'll have you come back in and we'll go over what would the next steps would be. Okay. Okay? All right. Thank you. I'm going right out to the chip. <coughs> Obviously, we could have a whole gamut of things that we're going to have to be concerned about here, from toxins, although it doesn't seem like you get into much in the house, although they did say it was curious, foreign body, maybe viral, um, pancreatitis, because he seems pretty painful in the abdomen, and with the yellow vomit, and maybe a food allergy, because we don't really know what he was eating at the shelter before he came here. Yeah, yeah. And I'd say parasites might be a concern too, just because he doesn't know if he's on an antiparasitic right now or if he was treated at the shelter. So that's something to maybe look into, maybe do a fecal. Yeah, the shelter yeah. records are a little vague on, on the, um, whether or not he was dewormed or for any, treated for any parasites. He is up to date on his vaccines. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's pretty important to do a CDC CAM UA just to make sure that we're hitting all the bases, um, make sure there's nothing metabolic or internal going on. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably should have him stay overnight for observation and definitely address the dehydration and get him some IV fluids. Um, see if that also helps perk him up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Is there okay. anything else we want to do? Maybe radiographs and see if so painful in the abdomen. Mm -hmm. You can just check and see if there's any like obvious blockages or you know masses or sure. organs that are way bigger than they should be. Yeah, and I think we definitely want to make sure that we ask him if we can do everything on our list instead of just picking one because it'll give us a better gold standard overall yeah. of what's going on with him. The most information is the best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Well, I did. I just flapped up for us. Thank you. All right. So, what right. is going on? So, if you'll remember, my name is Dr. Barone. And I'm just going to let you know everything that we decided while you're outside of the room. Okay. Um, we kind of want to give you a full scale of everything. So we're going to present a 360 picture for him for what we'd like to do. Okay. I've got a price estimate right here that you can look at as I go along. Okay. So we'd like to do a CBC and chemistry panel. A okay. CBC is a complete blood count, and it's going to go through and let us know if there's any infection or other disease processes going along in his blood. Okay. The chemistry is also going to test for electrolyte abnormalities and balances, um, and also internal organ function. The urinalysis along with that um, shows us his kidney function. We also think that with his abdominal pain that he showed on the table, we wanted to get some radiographs, which are just x-rays, take a picture and make sure there aren't any obvious enlargements in his body. Okay. Um, a fecal analysis, just to make sure the records were a little unclear as to whether or not he'd received a or not. We mm -hmm. just want to hit all the bases. And we're really um, concerned about his dehydration status. Okay. Uh, so we wanted to give him some IV fluids. The hospital stay, we'd like to keep him overnight. This is kind of a gamut of tests that we're presenting here. So we'd like to keep him overnight and possibly have him go home with you tomorrow morning. Okay. So, so you think all the tests will be done by tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, we'll possibly have them all done today and then we'll just keep them for observation overnight, IV fluids, all of that. Okay, and will the results, how long do they usually take to come back? Will they be back? We should have them, if we get them this morning and send out the blood, we'll have them this afternoon. Otherwise, if they go out later in the afternoon, we'll have them by tomorrow morning. Okay, okay. And um, all of you feel that all these tests are really necessary to figure out what's going on with chicken wing? Yeah, we just really want to make sure that we get a complete view of what's going on with him. I mean, if we really were concerned about money, we could potentially cut one or two tests. Okay. But this way, we know that we've covered all of our bases mm -hmm. and we have a really good baseline for where we want to go from here. Okay. Do you have any kind of idea of what you think, like, what's standing out as what would be the possible problem with him? I know you mentioned he had lots of abdominal pain and stuff, mm -hmm. so what do you think would really kind of lead you to look at that the most? Unfortunately, mm -hmm. Abdominal so. pain can be a lot of things, okay. and so that's what we're hoping to get with our tests, especially the x-rays and the blood, just to see if he's got an infection, or if this is more he swallowed a toy, something like that. But we're not really sure right now until we get some more tests done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Okay. All right. Well, we want to take care of Chicken Wing. He's had a rough time with the shelter, so. Okay. 